Hey guys, Daisho back for another game of Hearthstone. Hopefully, it's gonna work out a little bit better than it's been going so far, but I mean, every once in a while you just draft a deck that's so terrible that you can't really imagine doing any better. But I actually haven't been doing that well recently. Also, I've noticed that when I play like in the morning, Eastern Time US, or like before night time, I guess, I don't know, that the quality of the opponent seems to be a lot better. I actually have to go. Hold on one second. Sorry guys, had to take that call. Um, anyway, so this is our opening hand, Direwolf Alpha, Perdition Blade, Frostwolf, Grunt, Acidic Swamp, Ooze. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. Um, it looks like I just want to coin into a Frostwolf Grunt. No, it looks like I just want to coin into a Dagger. No clue why my opponent's playing Murloc Raider. Could be because it was it was just an absolutely god awful pack, and I mean, a one mana two one is is pretty terrible, but doesn't do nothing. Like it could trade for a two drop, so I do understand it from that point of view. Loot Hoarder is okay. Last time I was playing against Jaina, I specifically went for a Loot Hoarder. I'm actually going to attack here. Specifically went for a Loot Hoarder on turn 2 to try and get my opponent to use Fire Blast on turn 3 to kill it. This time, I don't really have a great follow-up on turn 3, so I don't really care if that's the play. Alright, so... Pretty decent play here. and I mean, it's not incredible because I'm not getting so much value out of this. But just using it as like a, uh, a fiery war axe or whatever, just a couple of swings, and I'm gonna get one extra damage at the face. It's not terrible. And down to 24. The more damage you take against Jaina, the worse you are. Um, am I really just gonna? That'd be an awful turn. <laughs> okay, so she's just gonna use this turn to do that. Um, I'm gonna start here with one of these. It's an ice barrier. I can deal with an ice barrier. Um, and then I have a couple options. I can go Frostwolf Grunt into Dire Wolf Alpha, but I think I'd rather... Actually, it seems like a pretty good turn to drop Loot Hoarder. Because, um, first of all, I get to be mana efficient and still have a 2-drop, so I can go 3-drop into 2-drop next turn. And it seems like my opponent really needs to do something more than just ping my 2-1. So there's a good chance that she wants to play a 5-drop. or Probably a he, I don't know. I mean, I don't know the specific demographics in this situation, but I don't know. It turns out that it was, it was not a good play, <laughs> um, really at all. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Angry chicken. I don't... <laughs> okay, ooh, that was a sick draw. I'm going to be able to go Blood Cell Raider into Demolisher here. Demolish this little chicken. And uh, actually get a 4-3 mana for 2 mana. So that was nice. It was a good turn. I'm definitely ahead here. My opponent has been playing stuff like the Murloc and the Angry Chicken. Not really sure what his game plan is here. But Arcane Explosion is not like the worst card for me to play against. So Frost Nova. Interesting. I'm definitely going to attack first to see what the deal is. Don't really want to play Argent Commander in case it is a mirror entity. Looks like it might be. Um, I'm okay playing a Gnomish Inventor though. Okay, it could be a Vaporize, or we could be getting into Spellbender, Counterspell kind of territory, which is a little bit scary. He's going to silence that, that's fine with me. So we already played a creature, so we know it's not um, Mirror Entity, so I'm okay doing this. Heading to Northrend. Um, yeah, I'm actually just going to go with that. It's pretty easy to argue that I should just um, attack it with the Demolisher, since it's use pretty much useless anyway. Um, in fact, there was also a pretty good argument. Okay, he's got another secret. I don't know what kind of deck my opponent's playing here, but doesn't seem to be doing anything as of yet. Alrighty, so first we're going to start off by attacking with our weakest creature. That didn't do anything. 
So, I mean, there could be an ice block somewhere around here. Um, should not have attacked with all my creatures. But actually, I'm not even going to play anything. If it is a mirror entity, then uh, too bad for you. Because I'm, uh, I'm not going to play anything. There's really no reason for me to. I have a full board. Anything I play can just die to a flame strike. So there's no reason to commit any more to the board. And uh, you've got to show me something before... Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to win that one. Probably the second one was a mirror entity. But um, still not sure on the first one. Could have been a counter spell or a spellbender. Something like that. Three wins is pretty good. I mean, I predicted that I'd get three with this deck, so... Anything more is gravy? No, I still want to try and go for seven. Um, always want to get at least seven, but yeah. Six? I'd be okay with six. I'd be okay with five. No, I, I, I mean, I ne I'm never really okay with five. It seems to be what's been happening a lot to me lately, but I'm never really okay with it. Alright, Warlock. I can actually go with an Abusive Sergeant against a Warlock. But I don't really need to, because I have a couple of two drops, right? No, I'm going to get rid of that one. It's fine. I mean, I don't particularly want to coin it to a Dire Wolf Alpha, but... Anyway, um, keeping a Abusive Sergeant and playing it on turn one is okay, as long as my opponent doesn't start off with a 1-3 Taunter. Then again, that's not so bad, because I can still finish it off with my hero ability, so... Not a very aggressive start for my opponent here. And that's alright with me. Double Cult Master. Man, Cult Master is really good by itself, but two of them at the same time is, can just be absurd in a game where you're already winning. It just makes it completely out of reach for your opponent, but... Unfortunately, believe it or not, I'm not already winning this game, so... Not so good. Um, could, w could burn an Eviscerate here, but there's not much reason to. I can get significant value by just playing the... Flesh Eating Ghoul here, almost definitely be able to trade it off next turn and have a Cult Master on the battlefield to get back some of that card advantage that I lost when he drew a card. And um, I also have the option of just playing an Eviscerate and killing his creature. This turn. Or, I mean, I can just eat his creature. Probably has Demon Fire. So what I am going to do here is eat the creature and then play a Cult Master. This may seem a little counterintuitive, but basically, because Demon Fire kills Cult Master, but you can't really kill a Cult Master with. I mean, it sucks to kill either of those. With what is going on? Do you have nothing? No, you still have your Demon Fire. You always had Demon Fire, right? That's one of the cards you just drew. Oh God, this is good. <laughs> um, this is good for me. So I don't want to commit too much more to the board. So what I am going to do is go for this. Um, if my opponent has a Mortal Coil, I'd rather they kill my um, my Cult Master than my Flesh Eating Ghoul at this point. So I'll go with that. And uh, my opponent's definitely in a hole here. Got to dig themselves out. Wow, okay. Does not look like it's getting any better here. So, um, yeah, let's... Well, I guess I could do that. Or you could play an Argent Commander. Argent Commander is a little bit weaker to um, to mass removal, but it's it's not like they usually play mass removal in that deck anyway. And I do have Geomancer plus Eviscerate for five plus this, which I can do next turn for. 9 damage, taking it down to 1. Yeah. That was that was a brutal beatdown, but I do not know what my opponent was doing. I mean, just, it seemed like every single turn they were playing underpowered bad cards. So maybe, maybe I'm just playing against a string of new players at this point, but if so, let's keep them coming, because I need all the help I can get to, uh, to a massive, decent enough amount of wins with this deck. But, I mean... All the cards that I'm playing are, are no, okay. A lot of the cards I'm playing are just solid because I, I've kind of weeded out which cards are really, really bad to play. So I'm not going to ever have like Silverback I, Ape, whatever, in my deck. But 
don't know. I'm gonna keep this two drop since I don't think that I can afford to get way behind and um, yeah, it would be a lot better if I were on the draw to have two two drops. But yeah, I can't really let my opponent play a two drop on two and not have an answer to it. And we draw another two drop, which is okay. Not ideal. I'd rather be drawing threes or fours at this point because I already have early game plays. And this looks like a mana worm, which wouldn't be so bad for me. It would not be the end of the world. But definitely not looking excellent just based on my starting hand. All right, mana worm's fine. I have this ugh, second mana worm. Oh, mirror image. Well, that's a little bit awkward, ain't it? Um, all right. Well, we got a a bloodfin raptor. Looks like we're gonna be taking some damage from that mana worm. It's one of the better plays that you can do on turn one if you're on the draw. Mana worm coin, mirror image, protect your guy. Yes, he's gonna be able to protect it until um. Yeah, like my Bloodfin Raptor is just going to get pinged off this turn next, but that's alright. Unfortunately, I can't eviscerate that. So what I am going to do here is play this to um, force him to choose which one he wants to kill here. Uh, not ideal for me. But at least I'm only going to take 6 damage before I can eviscerate that Mana Worm. And it's not like I'm losing out on card advantage. Or I guess I did lose a full card from the Bloodfin Raptor just getting pinged for two turns, and like he gained it back on tempo, even though he did lose a card for this. So, um, yeah. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh. Interesting. I could also just... Uh, no. Alright, we're just going to... No, first we're going to play this. Not be stupid about it. We're actually going to combo this. Go ahead and kill that, and now we're looking okay here. Um, about even on cards, my opponent's got six, I've got five, but my opponent was on the draw. So you'd expect my opponent to have one more card than me when, uh, when it's their turn. So even on cards for the game. And looks like they're gonna lose a little bit more tempo here. Try and make it back some damage. I'm gonna play this guy on the left here. That way I can, uh... What? Okay, so these are flipped. This guy is actually out here on the right, so if I want to play another creature, then I should make sure to um, that to get pumped by the, uh, the Darwolf. I have to make sure to play it all the way on the right. But anyway, we don't want to play too many things. Yeah, I guess it looks normal on my opponent's side of the board. I was gonna say we don't want to play too many things into Flame Strike. But now none of our creatures are really relevant anymore. Um, I could just silence this guy. In fact, I think I will. But I, again, like, even though I did just say that, um, that most of my creatures were irrelevant, I don't really want to play it. I guess probably should have played the Swamp. Probably could have played the Swamp Boost. That's playing pretty hard into Blizzard, which is less than ideal. But yeah, playing the Spellbreaker there gives me some value out of it while still adding a 4-3 onto the board, which is nice. This looks like another freeze. Okay. And I really don't want to play. I'll, I'll give him one turn before I actually play something out here because, man, it's just terrifying to play stuff into Flame Strike at this point. Because, I mean, right now my opponent would get a full two for one. Okay, two for one is not that bad, but it isn't great. Hmm. Earthen Ring Farce here. Alright, so this guy we can still get some value out of. And uh, we're gonna do my chunk, chunking away one damage at a time here. I mean, I do have some like six surprise damage there as long as I have a creature to attack him. I mean, this puts him in a position where if he does have Flame Strike, that has to be the first thing that, that he casts. Interesting. Looks like no flame strike. And mirror image is okay. Gonna save you some life. Obviously gonna ping off that. 
but I can still attack the the one seven taunt. So I'm gonna be able to take that card out without really losing a card here. I guess I'm sort of am losing a card because abusive sergeant is not really um, a full card here. But yeah, we're gonna go with one of these. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter actually. Um, go here. Did I attack with? Yeah, I did attack. Um, do I want to play another creature out into this board? Yeah, if there were Flame Strike, it would have been cast last turn. Like that turn, there's no reason to drop those things out if you don't have Flame Strike. If you have a Flame Strike in hand, at least I think. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, that that's my read. That's what I'm saying. So this is a top decked card. So it's also targeting. So it's not Flame Strike. Could be Kona Cold. Polymorph. I'm alright with Polymorph. Definitely alright with Polymorph here. So hopefully, I mean, it doesn't look like my opponent's gonna play that many creatures this turn. Loot Hoarder, sure. Alright, so I think I can play the Cult Master here just... Well, actually, no, it doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm just gonna attack it with my face. Obviously, my opponent doesn't have um, Flame Strike at this point, but... I mean, it still makes sense to play around a card that my opponent can draw, especially when I have lethal on board for next turn anyway, um, even if my opponent doesn't. Well, I guess, okay, so they can ping off this, but still 7, 10, 11, 12, um, maybe more with this. And I do have an Eviscerate in hand as well, with the ability to combo it, so that's another bit of damage, but... Right, there's an arcane intellect that my opponent's been holding the entire game. That just goes to show you how much pressure I've actually been putting on my opponent. That no, not even one opportunity to uh, to cast that. All right, there's a molten giant. Unless she can give it taunt here, it's not going to be too relevant. Demolisher also not really a thing, and then just a ping and give you the old well played here. To release that button, I'm clicking this one. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. It is, it's, she's actually just dead on board, like, even, can't even miss this, but, better. Ooh, and I had the Geomancer for my one Eviscerate index, so that's, it's pretty valuable. I, this Geomancer has already given me an Eviscerate, but, I don't know, it's so bad in this deck. Alright, um, I played a few games there, so... That'll be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and come back tomorrow to see the conclusion of this draft. Unless I win more games, we have to split it into another video. How would that go? Nah, I don't think so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.